Hey Pokemon Champions, what's going on? It's Champion Dark Blaze here, and today we're going to be taking a look at just what are the top 5 most difficult Pokemon to train in any of the Pokemon games. Now, these 5 Pokemon I'm going to be choosing are 1, based from my personal experience, 2, are from my own opinion, and 3, really are difficult Pokemon to train. Now, in order to figure out this list, I need to factor in their base stat total, their move set, and their type as well. All three of these factors will help me to determine how hard it is to train these Pokemon. Now these five Pokemon aren't limited to any one game, such as playing th with them in Sun and Moon. This is in their respective region, and just in any playthrough in which you can obtain these Pokemon. Now of course movesets vary from generation to generation, as we get more moves from generation to generation, but overall, these Pokemon are just very hard to train, whether because they have a bad moveset, their stats are just complete garbage, or they have a bad type, and really, their moves don't help them either because they don't get stabbed or they don't have priority or whatever the case may be. So overall, these Pokemon are among the most difficult to train. So with all that being said, please leave a like on this video if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new to join the champion squad today and share this video with a friend so they can see the most difficult Pokemon to train as well and get in on the discussion. And with that being said, let's get into the video. I choose you! Alright guys, so starting off the top 5 list, we are looking at Baltoy, the Clay Doll Pokemon. This ground and psychic type introduced in Gen 3 has a base stat total of 300. Now that's a fairly low base stat total, it's not the best, but it's kind of decent. But however, even though it has a horrible defense and special defense, it's got pretty decent moves to make up for that. It has access to moves like Rock Tomb, Psy Beam, Extra Sensory, Ancient Power, Earth power at level 37, so it kind of makes up for its weak power. However, it's got stats that are garbage. It's got horrible defense and special defense, and I should know, I used one in my Pokemon Emerald Let's Play, and I even used one in Pokemon XD Gala Darkness. Now, Baltoy is extremely weak, which makes it very difficult to train, as it can be knocked out very easily. However, if you do evolve it into a Clay Doll, it becomes a very powerful Pokemon, and it is pretty much a powerhouse. It's one of those Pokemon that has a two-stage evolution, and when it finally evolves into its second stage, it becomes one of the strongest Pokemon on your team. So even though Baltoy does have very bad stats, it's got a decent typing, and it's got decent moves that make up for that lack of power that it just doesn't have. So for being so weak, and it's not even the fastest Pokemon either, Baltoy has to start off the top 5. However, using Baltoy in the wild and even in trainer battles isn't the worst experience because Baltoy does fairly well. If it has the type advantage, it can one-shot Pokemon using Psybeam on a poison type, and can even sometimes do a two-hit KO. So it's not the worst Pokemon in a battle by any means, but it is on the weaker side, so for these reasons, it's gonna start off the top five of our list. Next at the number 4 spot, we're taking a look at the Gen 6 Flying Dragon type Noibat. This is known as the Soundwave Pokemon, and it is very, very weak. However, when it does into evolve into its second stage, Noivern, it becomes incredibly powerful and a really awesome Pokemon to have on your team. However, during the time that it's a Noibat, very difficult to train, and it's going to constantly faint. However, even though its base stat total is 245, making it a lot weaker than Baltoy, it makes the number 4 spot because it is a Flying dragon type. Now even though it's four times weak to ice, it does resist grass four times over, resists fire, and resists water. Now Noibat may be a very weak Pokemon and have pretty garbage stats to say the least. It's got awesome moves that make up for it, such as Bite, Supersonic, it can get Hurricane if you leave it until level 48 I believe, or even 58 I think it's up there. It can get Air Slash, Air Cutter, Wing Attack, I'm pretty sure you can teach it Fly. I don't know if it can get Acrobatics, I didn't see that, but maybe it has access to that. I remember giving 
giving my Neubat acrobatics, if I remember correctly. But among all of these moves, they really do make up for Neubat's lack in power. All of these moves can be stab, you know, if they're flying type, but these moves pack a powerful punch when used against Pokemon that Neubat has a type advantage over. So while Neubat is very weak, it's not the worst Pokemon in battle by any means, just like Baltoy. It can hold its own, knock out Pokemon with one hit, maybe two hits. However, it is very weak to ice type moves, electric type moves, rock type moves. So Neubat is going to be taken out very easily, just like Baltoy, and even a lot easier because I remember my Neubat painting plenty of times. So for these reasons, Neubat's going to be on the number four spot. Starting off the top 3 portion of this list, we have Badoo, the grass poison type of Gen 4 that you get fairly early on. It is known as the Bud Pokemon and has a base stat total of 280. So while it is technically stronger than Noibat, it is weaker than Noibat and very much so because it can only learn 6 moves. It's got Absorb, Growth, Water Spore, Mega Drain, Stun Spore, and Worry Seed, and these moves only last until level 16, at which point it stops learning new moves. Now, these moves are not the best at all. These moves are fairly weak, however, Mega Drain is probably its best move. Stun Spore is good for that Paralysis, because Paralysis is always good, but Badoo just has garbage stats. It's very bad and a very weak Pokemon. Badoo is only good against Water, Rock, and Ground ground types, and unfortunately, when you get Badoo, you can battle rock, ground, and water types, however, Badoo just has such horrible defense that you're gonna have such a hard time knocking out the Pokemon that you even have a type advantage against. So even if you have a type advantage, Badoo is not gonna be able to hold its own that well. You're gonna end up having to use potions just to keep it alive and just to knock out the attacking Pokemon. However, there are Pokemon that are much weaker than Badoo because Badoo can hold its own fairly well in battle but like I said, it's still going to be taking out pretty easily. It's got only a base stat total of 280. It is grass poison, but it is weak to flying types like so many early trainers have. And if you're fighting those ground types, like in Mount Coronet in the Sinnoh games, then Badoo also has that, you know, it's type weakness as well. Even though it has a type advantage, it simultaneously has a type disadvantage. So for all these reasons, Badoo is taking the number three spot. Now at the number 2 spot, we're gonna take a look at Zubat the Bat Pokemon. This flying poison type introduced in Gen 1 is among a fan favorite as an early Pokemon that you can get onto your team because it evolves into the magnificent Crobat later on. And Badoo does evolve into Roserade, so that kind of makes up for the effort you put into Badoo. Forgot to mention that earlier. But anyway, back to Zubat. Zubat is a very weak Pokemon as its base stat total is only 245 being the same as Noibat. But what makes Zubat worse is because Zubat is so common, and on top of it, Zubat has horrible stats that are even worse than Noibat, because I'm pretty sure Zubat has a lower defense. Now, its speed stat is the best, which kind of makes up for that a little bit, but again, it's got a horrible stat of defense and special defense, and it doesn't even have the best moves early on, only having access to moves like Supersonic, Wing Attack, Bite, Leech Life. All of those moves are fairly weak, which means that Zubat is going to get taken out pretty easily, and it's not even going to be able to do enough damage. Bite isn't stat. Wing attack is stab, but again, it's got very low attack. Leech life is a weak freaking bug type move, and supersonic, while it does cause confusion, it is not 100% accurate like Confuse Ray, so it does have a chance to miss, which makes it that much harder. So if your supersonic misses, you have a chance to be taken out that turn by the opposing Pokemon. So Zubat is extremely weak, it doesn't have the best move set, and I recently used it in a Pokemon Silver playthrough in Gen 2, and my god, Zubat sucks in Gen 2. Too. Zubat has a trash move set until it evolves into a Crobat, and it's just so horrible to train. I, I can't stand training Zubat at all, so for these reasons, Zubat's got to take the number two spot.
Ho 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 ho, let's go, because at the number one spot, I cannot wait to talk about this annoying Pokemon, and the Pokemon in question is the Gen 3 Iron Ball Pokemon Beldum. This Pokemon being a Steel Psychic type, you think would be pretty decent in battle. It's got plenty of resistances, is weak to a few types, but that is not the case. If you've never seen a Beldum, well, this might be a bit disappointing for you. Beldum is completely horrible in battle. It has no type advantage whatsoever. Now, now, being a psychic type, you would think it's got the advantage over poison types, right? No. Steel type, it's got the advantage over, you know, some other types? No. Beldum has no advantages whatsoever. Its base stat total is 300, which means it's very weak. Its defense is pretty good, but it only learns one move, and that one move is takedown, a normal type move, which means it can't hit ghost types, and it's got no type advantage whatsoever. And on top of it, even though this thing evolves into the amazing Metagross in the end, you have to earn that Metagross because depending on what level you get your Beldum, you may spend one level grinding that Beldum, or you may spend like 20 to 30 levels grinding that Beldum because it takes forever. I think it's got a slower experience gain than other Pokemon because it's a pseudo legendary. And on top of it, Beldum evolves extremely late. I think it doesn't evolve until at least level 35 or so into Metang. So it's very annoying to train. It's got no advantages whatsoever. And on top of it, takedown hurts Beldum every time you use it. So when you use takedown, you're gonna hurt yourself. And on top of it, Beldum only learns one move. It cannot learn any HMs, no TMs, no egg moves, no tutoring moves. It only has one freaking move. Now you're probably thinking, oh, but wait a minute, you know, Ditto is a thing. Ditto's a thing here. It only gets one move and that's transform. Well, let me tell you, Ditto may only have transform, but when it transforms into the Pokemon that it can copy, which is any Pokemon in battle, Ditto then gets a full move set because it copies the Pokemon, which means Ditto is not totally horrible. Ditto can now transform into your opponent's Pokemon and then try and take down its team. Beldum gets takedown and that's it. And then it hurts itself. And if you miss your takedown, you can't do anything. So that is very, very bad. Beldum is just the most annoying Pokemon in the Pokedex to train. Its stats are horrible. It gets one move, can't do anything, no advantages. So for all of these aforementioned reasons, Beldum just has to take the number one spot as the most difficult Pokemon to train out of any Pokemon in existence. So there we go, Pokemon Champions. Those are my top five most difficult Pokemon to train in any Pokemon game. Now, of course, these are just my opinions. So if you think there are other Pokemon that are more difficult to train, be sure to leave your thoughts down in the comments below. I know some of you are probably wondering why Magikarp wasn't on this list, but you know, it, it's Magikarp. It's automatically difficult, and I don't want to give Magikarp any more hate than it probably already gets. Magikarp is known for being a weak Pokemon, so I felt that there really wasn't a need to put Magikarp on on this list. I wanted to put Pokemon on this list that actually had a fighting chance and that weren't complete garbage like Magikarp because Magikarp only gets Tackle and Splash. I'm pretty sure it doesn't get anything else. So for those reasons, I'm not putting Magikarp on the list. But if you think any other Pokemon is more difficult to train than the ones I mentioned, of course, you're going to have to let me know down in the comments below so that we can chat about it later on. Again, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like on this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the Champion Squad so you don't miss any other videos I upload and share this video with a friend so they can see which Pokemon are the weakest and voice their opinion in the comments below as well. With all that being said, thank you for watching. I'm Champion Darkblaze and I hope you guys train hard and until next time, I will catch you guys later.